Hello everyone, you are most welcome again on my channel. Let's practice some uh, MCQs today. Uh, so first one is for you. Had we but world enough and times this coyness lady were no crime, this statement is an example of irony, paradox, hyperbole or euphemism. Irony. Spencerian Stenja has four six eight ten iambic pentameters eight iambic pentameters match the following list so we have these uh, writers here so Klinitz Brook William Imson Mark Schorer and Maud Bodkin so here is your answer you can see a option A and if you want to see all these uh, works so you can check out my videos on literary uh, terms and you will find all the shortcuts for these all the artist may be present in his world work like God in creation in creation invisible and al almighty Everywhere felt but nowhere seen. Henry James is talking here about the artist impersonality. The greatness of a poet, Arnold says, lies in his powerful and beautiful application of ideas to life, but a critic pointed out it was not a happy way of putting it. As if ideas were a lotion for the inflamed skin of suffering humanity, who were this critic? So here are your options. T.S. Eliot, F.R. Lewis, David Laws, Alan Tate. T.S. Eliot is the answer. So we are to match these all. Lucy Hutchinson, John Bunyan, John Evelyn, Margaret Cavendish. So here are all the works. The Life and Death of Mr. Badman, Sylvia, or a Discourse of Forest Trees, Nature's Pictures, Memories of the Life of Connor Hutchinson. Here, are you, here is your answer, C. But deeds and language such as men do use, and persons such as comedy would choose, when she would show an image of the time and sport with human follies, not with crime. In above lines, Johnson. So what is the answer? Here is your co here are your codes and the answer is your first one you can see opposes the artificiality of romantic tragic comedy and second is initiates the use of realism and considers analysis of moral shortcomings. So answer is A. That glory never shall his wrath or might extort from me. This is from Paradise Lost, book first, the whole work you can see on my channel. I have made four videos on Paradise Lost. That What glory is being referred by the Saturn? Your answer is A. The courage never be submit or yield. It has been described as a novel without predecessors, the product of an original mind and became immediately popular it is a peculiar blend of pathos and humor, though the pathos is sometimes overdone to the point of becoming offensively sentimental. The novel was published in 1760. What is the name of the novel? Tristram Shandy. Option C. Uh, where ignorance is bliss, tis folly to be wise. Who wrote these lines? Answer is B. Gray. Which of the following works is not actually a prose essay? Your answer is B. Essay on man. Competence is competence to ease is supplementary to use. A uh, sorry supplement indeed, but I fear the best that is to be had. We must ride where we formerly walked, live better, and be softer, shall be wise to do so than we had means to do in the good old days you speak of. Who speaks these words and to whom? Lamb to Bridget. 
A sudden blow, the great wings beating still above the staggering girl, her thighs cursed by the dark webs, her nap caught in his bill. He holds her helpless breast upon his breast, who is the author of these lines. W.B. Yeats Consume my heart away, sick with desire, and fastened to a dying animal. The above lines are taken from Sailing to Byzantium. Samuel Beckett's trilogy, published together in London in 1959 under the English titles Molly Malins Dies the Unname Bay. An important poet, important poet and playwright who in the 1960s led the black arts movement in the spirit of negritude posted a sorry posited a black aesthetic that expressed a pan american organic and whole sensibility Amory Baraka where Sir Thomas Voigt adapted Petrarch and Petrarch Kinism to English sound and meter surveys words tend to look back beyond Petrarch to the answer is Latin words. Here are some characteristics of morality plays. They are dramatized. Okay, so we need not to read all the options. So which is the answer? Your answer is 1 and 2. Let's see. They are dramatized alleg allegories of the life of men. They and the second one. They depict men's temptation and sinning, his quest for salvation and his confrontation with death. In the prologue to Dr. Foster's, the chorus proposes that the theme should be Cursed necromancy and self conceit. The center of his place is a proud character on Marlowe's model with a bold license in speech and action, full of elaborate metaphors, phrase stumbling after phrase, as he asserts himself in the French court, Dryden unjustly and described his style as a dwarfish thought dressed up in gigantic words. Who is the Jacobean playwright? George Chapman. In Paradise Lost, BK, this is book, okay, book 9, Milton writes that Adam was overcome with and so ate the forbidden fruit against the better knowledge. Female charm. In which poem of Dunn, this, the lover's face reflected in the eyes of his beloved? The Good Morrow Coleridge's The Rhyme of the Ancient Mariner is a poem in seven parts and 26th one is Joseph Edison called him the miracle of the present age and Alexander Pope wrote the epitaph on the monument erected in his memory who is he? Isaac Newton what is the what is Johnson's opinion regarding the violation of the three unities in the place of Shakespeare? Here you have two and four. So Shakespeare followed the important unity of action satisfactorily and unity of time and place arise from false assumption. Yeah, well, we know that he did not take care of unity of time and place. Okay, the famous uh, example is uh, in his work where he mentioned the time, the clock, okay, in Julius Caesar. Now, next one, the tattler appeared thrice a week. So, what is the answer on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday? So, what was my shortcut to remember tattler because there is T and you remember the T, T, and S, T, T, S. Okay, so Tatler TTS. You can uh, find other shortcuts uh, for writers on my videos. 
uh, in my videos so i will put some in comment box you can check out those thank you for watching bye bye good luck for your exams